What, boo boo? Okay, let's. I'm trying to make do here. And wearing my mask right here where everybody does. Stopping that COVID in its tracks <laughs> by boo boo. I'm okay. All right, so I'm gonna. I just wanted to. Uh, hey, were you guys were you guys around when? Jeez, were you guys around when? Uh, when I was, <laughs> when I was involved in one of the more creepier, one of the more creepier. Boo boo. Look at. You guys want to see what's? I don't know what's the the long string of weird life forms that have been pressed into service uh, for squeaky toys lately. But this is it. I I thought it was upside down. It's a cactus. Okay. Easy. And then I, I have brought over a yoga instructor. Who's who's designing these toys? Not you, Boo Boo. You want to get over here? You want to get in on this? Or you just want to be a brat? Okay, so... I get beamed when I drive, even. So, um... Okay, so I'm, I'm, sitting, in, I'm sitting in a car in front of my spot, 7-Eleven. Just, just playing my numbers, and I I notice I notice this lady who I have a kind of a relationship with. She lives at Winchell's. I buy her coffee every once in a while. Um, I have no idea if she speaks English. She's walking out of Seven Eleven. Winchell's is across the way. This is all set up, by the way. So I'm sitting there. And I notice her. She's going by, but and then I I just. I take a I take a right. She's fifteen or fifty. She's Japanese or some something like that, and no no English whatsoever. You like my dog? I like your dog. I've do you does she eat donuts? I asked the guy once because I'm gonna get her donut holes. I like your dog. That was our relationship. You know, I buy her coffee. She was homeless. She lived in Winchell's, but she's across the street now at by Seven Eleven. She's in on it at this point. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. So she comes out of 7-Eleven. And uh, these, this is St. Bernard. If you if you get lucky enough for him to get in the frame, boy, he's a beaut. So she, she walks out of 7-Eleven. And I take note of her that she's not in her normal table. And then laser focused back on the game. Hotspot. An expected value game that. So. I'm just I'm just sitting there, minding my own, and I look over, and there's this guy. Just tracking her, you know. In my mind, he's pressed up against the windshield. He he's he, he's predating. He's predating on the windshields, lady. I'm thinking he's pred predating. He's oh man, that not this ain't going down. Shit. Shit. He fucked up, this guy. And, <laughs> come on, Ricky. He, f oh, this guy, he fucked up. They're playing me like a violin. I'm so fucking stupid, I guess. I don't know what's going on. It's like, oh, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna catch this guy, and I'm gonna release all his dungeon victims. That's my thinking. You know? So, she takes off. She keeps walking up the street to Crystal Cathedral. And so I pull the car out. I back out. I, I turn down the street she was. I don't know how fast she walks, but it was, I was like, wow, she's already, she's like five foot tall. She's already down the street. And I'm looking in my rearview mirror for this guy. I'm like, this is happening, man. You know, what do I do? Do I use her for bait? You know, hopefully he tries to abduct her. I'm thinking, because then I can, I can get all them. All I can save her and the dungeon victims. So, <laughs> this is real. This is what I go through getting set up. There's more creepier ones than this, but 
So I'm thinking, okay, you know what? I can't, I can't go like pick her up and take her back to her Winchell's table, telling her, hey, you almost got killed tonight. Okay, let me, let me take you back. Let me take you back to Winchell's. That's crazy. So my idea was just to back into the gas station across the street from where she was walking and wait for him. Here he comes. I'm like, oh yeah, do it. Let's see, let's see how this goes down. And he just keeps going. Oh fuck. Okay, back over. She, I lose track of her. I'm like, oh, you know what? I can't, I can't follow her all night, you know? So I go back to 7-Eleven. Here he comes back into the parking lot. Oh, okay. He has no idea I'm onto him. That's my, my thing. And then she comes in out of nowhere up to the car. I'm like, Hey, what, why are, in hindsight, it's obvious, you know, um, why she would always come up to me, but. I say, hey, go go back to Winchell's. Okay, it's 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 cold out here. You can't. It's warm over at Winchell's. Nothing. I don't have any. I she doesn't even know what donut holes mean. I don't have any way to like communicate with this lady. So she was always wet too. By the way, like I don't know if it was humid in Winchell's, but just her hair was. So now, I got this guy in my sights. Um, she takes off. And I circle out of the parking lot. I come back and he's there and he's interacting with a homeless guy. I'm like, look at this guy. He's, he's acting like he's a human being, man. Anyways, cut. I I leave next day. I see him again and I find this, I find this abandoned car. This was at nighttime in the abandoned car in the back of a gas station. I'm like, Oh, this is it. This is, this is his car. I go actually go to the cashier. I say, "Hey, whose car is that back there?" I'm fucking, I'm on the hunt, man. This guy's not dungeon victims, okay? All of them released. I'm so stupid. So now I'm thinking he's on to me. Oh, this just got exciting. Really, truly, serial killer. This is. I'm just thinking about all these dungeon victims. I'm gonna, I'm gonna release. So I'm standing out in front of Vaughn's the a couple days later, and he's standing right behind me with a big log of wood. And in my mind, I'm like, motherfucker. I, I just, well, what can I do? Follow him into the bathroom and beat a confession out of him? I need, I need another, I need some more bait, you know? I'm going to dress up like a lady, I'm thinking. I didn't, but I didn't think that. Anyways, this is just a big old setup that was, I was excited and then he's on to me. So I'm like, oh, ho, ho, the game's afoot. This is happening. So he gets in a truck this time. I memorized the license plate. I ended up calling a, a cop, one that was at my 5150 at the house, because he was cool. I call him up. I go, hey, man, I had to call in the big guns because the trail went cold as far as I was concerned. Get the things you guys put me through, you know? I mean, how fun is it to watch that? Probably pretty fun. Probably pretty fucking amusing to watch me just spin off into, you know, saving dungeon victims. So I'm at that point I was like, I don't I don't remember when I got I got wise to it, but I seen him like a third time at the liquor store and I'm like, just come off it, man. Just <laughs> either abduct somebody in front of me or fuck off. Anyways, that wasn't even the creepiest one. That's just, that was just one. Then I was like asking about the, the lady after that. Where, do you know that lady? She was, oh no, we haven't seen her. Everybody's in on it. The cop I, I called, I said, hey, you know what? I, I, I think you need to look into this guy. I, the trail's gone cold. And I'm trying to keep it together as far as the phone call, like not sound crazy. You ever try that? Just calling somebody up? And I was like, hey, man, hey, remember me? Oh, yeah, kind of. Oh, he knew fucking damn well who I was. He was like super cool during the, the time they took me away handcuffed to a bed. So I was like, I'm going to give it to him. I'm going to I'm going to give this to him. He's he's going to I can't wait to read this in the papers. Good for him. OK, he's going to make sergeant. Based off this. 
that's that's what you get for, for being cool to me while I'm falsely in prison for 5150. That's what you get. That he was like, oh no, it's an Asian guy. I was like, oh, he changed the plates. Always two steps behind on this. <laughs> Anyways, all right, let's let's say hi to the doggies and then I gotta get going. Hey, this is Boo Boo. This is Boo Boo. Oh, hello, hello. And then Ricky Dog. Ricky Dog, who's on a diet right now. I know she's cranky. She's really cranky from this diet, but she's she's in her best interest, isn't it? Okay. Look at that. I left some details out of that the serial killer setup one. It was um what was it? Oh, the security guard at Vaughn's. I I hit him up. I go, "Hey, you, you want to <laughs> you want to join my my detective agency? I got a I got a hot case right now." Unfucking believable. I am. So so dumb. Anyways, that that you I could make that funny somehow. You're probably all laughing anyways. Not I I'd rather not be laughed at for this. Maybe laughed create laughter in another context. Jeez. All right, let's say do you want to see look at this. I thought it was like this. I was like, "Oh, she got you a Pokémon." No, it's it's a it's a potted cactus. Un Believable. Here. All right. Bye.